hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 10,000 subscribers and we are trying to upload videos on regular basis okay also if you are new on my channel then make sure to follow this one playlist very important for you in case you want to learn devops 30 days of devops it's a full course on devops okay also in case some of you might have been uh, might have queries or doubts or issues so if you want any like direct connect with me you can just follow me on instagram basically i just upload pictures or things that i do on in backend how i am recording videos whatever i am doing those things i upload on instagram so if you follow me you can directly ask me questions whatever you are having any doubt or queries okay other than that i have my telegram channel also which is completely many to many that means anyone can send messages so there also there are so many senior team members available if you are having queries issues you can just put there they will help okay now coming to today's topic so a few people requested to like create a video on python based application for build and deployment which i just completed so basically i have deployed this basic application of python okay and this application basically what it does it will monitor our cpu memory and these things in real time and provide us information with that okay so basically we are running inside a vm i have deployed this application inside a vm you can see here so of that vm it will just provide the information how much cpu ram and memory whatever those things how much it is being used in real time it will provide the details okay if i click on info it will be able to provide the system information okay and you see this 16 gb this is the memory of our vm okay and these are the details that are inside that vm okay so this application is a real time like details provided information provider using monitor you can get those details okay if i click on python demo so this is the page okay so yeah so let me show you the pipeline okay also obviously like i'm going to show you creating this whole pipeline from here to here from scratch this is just an overview to make you understand what kind of stages we are going to have okay eventually from scratch only i will write the pipeline okay so make sure to do not skip the video because if you want to understand how to build and deploy python based applications then this video will be for you okay so just to give you an overview about the stages that we are going to write is get checkout for uh, cl cloning the repository in the uh, inside uh, jenkins then osp dependency check for performing vulnerability scan on our source code then trivi file system scan so an cube analysis and docker build and tag trivi image scan of the docker image that we just built for security reasons then docker pushing the image inside the docker hub repository finally deploying the application inside a docker container so everything we are going to do from scratch so make sure to uh, give this video a like also if you are new on the channel please subscribe we are very close to 10,000 and you can see i'm recording this video almost at 4 a.m in the morning so yeah i'm working little hard but really it i would really appreciate if you could just support me i'm not asking for money but a small subscription will help me a lot so yeah let's get started okay team so i have set up jenkins on port 883 as well as i have set up sonar cube also okay now let me explain you the project that we are going to deploy properly so as you see this is a python web application okay so basically certain changes you have to make uh, i have already done let me show you what changes i did okay so to make this application compatible with our current uh, version of tools i changed this uh, flask version from 1.1.2 to 2.2.2 okay this is the one of the main changes i have to do okay secondly we have to basically for building and deployment of python application we use a make file okay eventually we are going to use docker file so let me show you that as well if i open build folder go here so basically this is the docker file and here also you can see it is like building the python application using the py files copying them and all okay and finally we have exposed a port 5000 on which our application will be running and this is the command that we use to uh, run our application okay okay now if you are thinking what exactly is make file so make file is a file which contains a spe specific set of actions which we can choose to perform okay for example if i scroll down here you can see make file can contain this kind of actions for example 
like uh, image image for like building uh, image action will be used for building docker images from docker file push uh, push action will be used for pushing the docker image to docker registry okay then we have run run the server locally and all all those things you can check out okay for us what we are going to use is uh, using this uh, uh, building the Im docker image and then pushing the docker image to our docker hub repository okay and finally using docker container we are going to uh, execute our application okay so again for like doing all these things inside jenkins first of all let's install certain plugins okay so go to available plugins and here let's search for sonar scanner because we are going to perform a sonar cube scanner okay let me search sonar cube so this one other than this we want OWASP dependency check also okay for performing the security scanning on our uh, file system based on the dependencies whatever being used okay in our case flask is being used so OS dependency check will find out if specific version of the flask is vulnerable or not okay okay other than these two tools we will be needing docker as well so let us search for docker and total three plugins of docker i'm going to install the pipeline and build step okay so this many plugins done other than this uh, i think we don't need anything else so we can just click on install let us monitor and you can see these many plugins uh, we are installing basically uh, certain plugins are like the dependent plugins if you install one plugin they need to be download others also okay so let it complete once it is completed then we will we can get started with configuring our pipeline okay also team if you remember everything i am showing showing from scratch so that you can learn every time i every time i write pipeline i do it from scratch so that you can learn how to write pipeline okay and also one more thing i have a uh, instagram channel also i don't have much followers but if you want to connect directly to me you can send messages to me also you can see uh, like whatever going on in backend how i shoot videos and how i record videos and all those things so if you are interested you can just follow me okay also you can directly send me messages here if you are having any queries okay okay coming back here to jenkins so plugins have been installed so let us configure these plugins for that we will go to tools do not forget that whatever plugins we installed so those plugins specific configuration will be available in this tool section okay previously this this uh, this section was known as global tool configuration but i am using the latest version of jenkins so in that latest version it has the name from uh, is changed from global tool configuration to tools okay the reason that i use latest version because eventually you are also going to come here so you should know already whatever changes have been done okay so let's scroll down and here docker installation so i will just provide a name as docker install automatically select a version yeah and then we have dependency check so let's provide a name as dc install automatically then this option we will select and version i want to use since i have been using from quite some time 6.5.1 it seems to work fine for me because usually when i go with the latest version it gives lot of errors okay scrolling up we have sonar cube scanner so let's provide a name as sonar dash scanner then version let it be okay so this many things we have configured let's just click on apply and let's focus on creating our pipeline okay let's click on new item name will be uh, p dash web app python web app basically select the type pipeline click on okay as a part of our best practice we will keep the number of builds in our history as two so that it does not take up too many space okay now as i have al always says always like go with the template pipeline hello world this will give you a structure to work with okay and we can edit it so let me just create few stages first of all copy this paste it okay so three stages i have added okay so first stage that is always in our pipeline is git checkout which basically creates a local copy of the source code from our git repository inside uh, jenkins okay 
okay so for writing the step here we can take help from pipeline syntax open it in new page select the option as get and let's provide the details so we will go back here on the project okay remember this application will work only if you are using my repository because I, as i say i have made changes okay and i will explain you make file also in a minute but let us uh, like add the few things first repository url just to check main branch we are using so we will provide the branch name as main credential is not required since the repository is public generate the script copy this and paste it here okay now this part is done next uh, next stage that i want to perform is OWASP dependency check okay so basically you know like uh, python uses libraries as well as dependencies so OWASP what it will do it will scan those libraries and dependencies like for example python uses flask right so OWASP will scan that and see if the version that we are using of flask it is vulnerable or not okay and uh, so now, uh, OWASP will generate a report for it okay now to use OWASP we I have a separate command and as I always say like whatever command I use here I have already added I'm already adding those things in the uh, repository Jenkins file so it will be beneficial for you you can just copy and understand it do not just like uh, copy and just execute try to understand what exactly happens okay okay now let me explain you about the OWASP stage what is happening additional arguments so basically here we define different level of different kind of arguments which uh, like which can be used for performing actions for example as of now i'm using hyphen hyphen scan and the out uh, uh, and the input to this is dot slash that means this argument is used for defining what path we are going to scan so here i have put dot slash that means from current root directory to everything okay then we have odc installation short for OS dependency check installation we have already configured as name DC right then we have dependency check publisher pattern so basically here we define in what format the report will be generated and as you can see uh, star star hyphen dependency check dash report dot XML that means we are generating the report in XML format okay thirdly what I want to do is perform a trivi scan also on our file system because as compared to uh, OSP Trivi has access to more databases and it can like find out more issues okay so we will do this and the best part about Trivi it is very easy to write as such command will be Trivi FS FS means file system we are going to scan file system and then we need to provide the path so I will just put a dot that means current directory okay so three stages we have configured next stage I want to configure is sonar cube analysis and yeah so here let's provide the name as sonar cube analysis and let me correct this okay so for sonar cube analysis first of all we need to configure sonar cube tool as well as the server okay server i have already created using docker container as you can see it is available sonar cube is running on port 9000 okay so as I always tell that whatever server or another application you want to uh, integrate with other application basically you need to have the URL then credentials okay URL we are already having credentials we need to generate so for that we will go to administration security users here you can see this option tokens so token we can generate as a part of credential okay let's provide a name as token dash one expires you can select in how long you want the token to expire and generate now we have the token right so we will add this token as credential inside Jenkins so we will go to Jenkins homepage then click on manage Jenkins scroll down to credentials click on global click on add credentials now here we will click on secret text because we are using a token right paste the text here and provide an ID as sonar dash token okay and let me copy this and paste it here now we have added the credential right again go to manage Jenkins go to system system is a section where we configure servers 
so we are going to configure sonar cube server so i will copy the url go to here scroll down and we can see this section sonar cube servers right this section is available because we have installed the sonar cube scanner tool okay now let's configure the sonar cube servers so let's provide a name as sonar server url will be this make sure to remove the slash and token we have already added few minutes ago sonar token right now this is done next here we need to uh, like call out the sonar cube analysis commands so before anything we need to mm, uh, create an environment okay for our sonar cube tool that we will do in this format environment then curly braces here let's create a variable as scanner underscore home which will be equal to tools and we have already configured sonar dash scanner right let me just confirm if i have written right or not so yeah here will be just tool okay now same thing we are this uh, this variable we are going to call and using inside this variable our sonar scanner tool will exist okay so for that let's do the as such then we are going to use uh, three codes that means if your code is uh, very long and it goes in multiple lines then you can use this three codes single codes how we will write dollar scanner underscore home slash bin slash sonar dash scanner now here we will provide certain arguments to define the project name and project key inside this uh, sonar cube okay that will be written as t sonar dot project name which will be i want to provide a name as python dash web app okay now if you want to go to next line just put it the slash and here we can provide the next line which will be d sonar dot project key and i want to keep this uh, name also same as python web app so i will just copy this paste it here and one last argument d sonar dot source sources or source or i don't know if it is even mandatory but let's see if it is not required we will get certain error okay so this task is done so let us just execute it so that we can see till now whatever we wrote is it correct or not okay click on build now okay so so whatever tool we mentioned it is getting installed first is it started installing sonar cube scanner and then it has installing insta insta installing the dependency check okay now this dependency check it basically downloads a database which contains lots of information about vulnerabilities okay so this might take little bit of time okay so meanwhile let me explain you how we are going to uh, run our application right so as i was explaining there is a file in the format of make file okay so basically this is a file which contains certain steps let me show you what kind of steps for example scroll down and these are the steps defined help lint and all okay these are certain uh, like variables whose value default values we have provided right so here uh, we are going to use docker hub registry okay and repository here we need to define so this when you are going to build this application basically you need to provide your own repository okay so for me it is like python web app uh, this is my username on uh, docker hub registry slash you can provide any name you want that will be your docker image name okay let's and these are the other things okay variables and all main thing starts from here help okay so lint fx lint so and so uh, it is like uh, you can execute if you want but main focus is on building the docker image if i execute make, make file make then it will build the docker image that is existing inside build folder okay and then it will like push uh, tag the docker image as well if i run make push it will push the docker image to my docker hub repository inside this okay and this is how like will be created and you can see there are so many other commands also other steps also like for uh, testing the test report test api deploy 
deploy this basically to deploy the application on azure web app which we are not doing as of now right okay you can go through this make file to understand it better okay so this is done and you can see it's still downloading okay so let's wait for it to complete once it completes then we can add our next stage which is to build the docker image also once the docker image is built we are going to use trivia again to scan the docker image okay so let's wait for a few more seconds okay some error is there so let's fix it again it's like okay uh, 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 again it's related to java based issue which we can fix in few minutes java runtime so and so and it supports mm, 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 mm. okay so we are currently using jdk uh, 11 and but it is giving error right so what i'm going to try with is jdk 17 let's provide a name as jdk 17 here install automatically okay so basically we have not installed the uh, plugin so for that we can go to manage jenkins go to plugins quickly available and here search for jdk scroll down and install this eclipse timurian installer click on install scroll down here and let's see yeah this is done one time let me refresh the page and let's add the jdk version i want to provide as jdk 7 name will be jdk 17 install automatically select this option install from adoptium version i want to use is 17 so let's select it click on apply okay here now we need to basically define our jdk inside the pipeline so to do that basically we can do in this format tools curly braces and here type of the tool type of tool is jdk name of the tool which we configured is jdk 17 right click on apply and let us monitor okay so let me open the console output and you can say it is setting up jdk 17 which we just chose okay <clears throat> okay let us monitor so dependency check already it is since dependency check takes just first time to download all the uh, so and so so it is like it completed very easily okay trivia also completed and yeah so now cube started but some error is there okay let us see okay now the error actually if i go to configure even though we have provided this thing and everything but we did not provide the credential for sonar cube to connect to sonar cube server right sonar cube this is the sonar cube stage and we did not provide any kind of credentials okay so how do we do that so i will take help from pipeline syntax open it in new page and expand this we will find one option with sonar cube environment this is available because we have installed sonar cube scanner plugin okay open it select this click on generate pipeline uh, script copy this now and let's paste it here remove this comment now we are going to paste this whole thing inside here okay now yeah this bracket should be somewhere nice okay now here if you are seeing we have just defined the credential id which won't be needing because we have already configured sonar cube server with the name sonar right and yeah this should do the task so let's scan it sorry that let's just run it four stages as of now we have configured scroll down and yeah sonar cube scanner has been started
okay one interesting thing that i should see sonar cube is, is able to identify whatever kind of file that is visible in repository here you can see it was able to identify even py files for python okay scroll down and yeah success so if i go back to sonar cube go to projects and we should be able to see so it was able to find 10 bugs and one code smells and it scanned around 346 lines of code okay so this is fine and yeah so next stage what i want to do is uh, run the make file commands okay now make file command how do we execute it so for that we need to set up uh, we need to install make file uh, make uh, a package on our vm wherever our jenkins is running okay so if i just type as make file sorry uh, make you can see it just gave the suggestion to install it so we will install it hyphen y let me see if it is working or not okay so make is like it has been inst installed so what we are going to do is uh, go to our pipeline let's create another stage okay copy this and paste it here this uh, this stage name i want to keep as uh, docker build and tag basically we are going to build a docker image from the docker file where is the docker file inside build section we have the docker file okay and it contains all these stages all these steps to build the project as well as run it okay so yeah now here to run docker commands we cannot run directly we need to uh, like uh, enclose it within a script okay so for that also we will take help from pipeline syntax click on it expand and scroll down to with docker registry credential we need to add so that it can build and tag okay so for that i will click on add click on jenkins and let's provide credentials so my username for docker hub registry and the password which is very secretive okay this is done then a name will be docker dash cred same thing i want to put in description so that we don't forget now let's select it okay now here you see i don't provide an url because we are using a docker hub registry you can see here maybe left blank to use the public docker hub registry okay which is by default one so i don't need to provide any url here docker installation we have configured click on generate and now we are going to copy this okay now here we need to create a script in this format okay and inside script we will just put our commands okay here command that i want to run is as such double quotes make and let me see the ste uh, steps inside our uh, repository we inside make file we have uh, 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 image okay so first command that i want to run is image which will what it will do it will build the do uh, docker image tag it and tag it okay make image and yeah so let's trigger it one more time once the image is built then we will be using uh, what's that a trivi to scan the docker image let's see already running this on our cube stage and you can see it has started building the uh, docker image okay whatever dependencies and libraries are required for the application that also getting downloaded and once everything is done yeah now new image name is this one okay correct so what i am going to do is uh, scan this docker image using trivi okay let me show you how it is done so i will just open it in uh, duplicate configure 
let's scroll down and let me just copy to create a new stage and yeah this is looking nice paste here so we want to uh, trivi uh, we want to scan our docker image so trivi image scan okay this will be the name of our, our stage okay and here i want to provide the command as trivi image then the name of the image so in our case the name of the image is this one we will copy this paste it here tag is latest correct click on apply and what it will do it will basically uh, scan the docker image and share us the results if there are any vulnerabilities in the docker image okay meanwhile same time what i will do additional one stage to uh, push the docker image okay docker push image now here the command that we need to change is docker make push why i wrote push because if i go back here you can see there is a new step uh, in our make file what it does it is basically pushing the uh, docker image that we create okay so this is fine and let's apply and it is let's run one more time okay and yeah we are having lots of stages actually so it's looking good let me just open the console log so that we can see whatever happening in, uh, in detail okay so first yeah it was able to build the docker image okay and tagged also now you can see it was able to find total 165 vulnerabilities possible vulnerabilities and the criticality of those also it defined here in detail uh, report is generated inside our console log itself okay so that may be checked now once this is completed we can move to our next stage which is to uh, uh, push the docker image okay you can see it has pushed to check the status of docker image we can go to our docker hub repository let me show you once we log in we will be able to see our docker image okay now i have signed in with my credentials and you can see here adi jaswal python dash web app last pushed few seconds ago this is the image that we just created and pushed it inside here with the tag latest okay now how many stages we are having this many stages we are having so finally what we are going to do is uh, deploy the docker image inside a container okay so for that if you are confused what command should i use it, those commands are already available inside the repository if i scroll down you can see here now till here basically uh, we can copy okay because we know ki, okay this application is built uh, this application is built and will be running on port 5000 how do i know that because inside docker file we have exposed the port 5000 okay okay uh, one more thing just to make sure that we, uh, our vm is having this port 5000 open i will open the security group and let's see yeah so you can see port 5000 is open so that is fine right so what I'm going to do is add the final stage which will be configure. Let me yeah. So I will just copy this whole thing and create another stage for it. And name I want to provide is deploy to Docker container. I'm typing little fast and second word every word a second letter in every word is getting like like that okay so command we want we will be using is docker run hyphen d is mandatory because I want to run my docker container in detached mode so I don't have to see any logs here okay hyphen d and then hyphen p for port port as you see we uh, created on port 5000 right and then the docker image name 
right so docker image name that we have is this one copy this and paste it here and let's close it right now everything is fine let me just check one more time one two three four one two three four yeah so it's fine click on apply and finally let's build our application and let's try to access the application as well so you can see everything is running fine so our queue quality get everything is fine dependency check also we are able to do and finally we'll be able to uh, deploy our docker uh, deploy our docker image inside a docker container basically creating our application inside docker container it's actually very late for the video recording almost 4 am but yeah I just wanted to create this video for python based application so that you would understand and you would practice also make sure to practice this okay so our pipeline is success if i scroll down at the end you can see our command has been run now let's see if we are able to access our application for that i will go to uh, get the public ip address of our vm paste it colon mention 5000 port click enter and yeah great our application is running if we click on monitor so basically this is like the uh, memory and cpu information it is of our current laptop uh, sorry current vm the vm that on which like we are running so this is details of on that vm okay this is like uh, real time information okay click on info and you will get other informations okay so you can see this application is running fine and everything is running good if you want to see the source uh, repository of the project you can click on github project and it will take take you to here now the problem uh, with this repository also like all the credit goes to this person who has created i do not know this person but okay now the problem with this uh, repository is that as i mentioned my repository i have changed uh, made some changes so that uh, this python application is able to run else if you use directly this then you won't be able to run everything properly you need to make changes okay but yeah this is how application will be running and yeah that will be all for today so thanks for watching and i hope that you'll be following me on instagram in case you want to connect directly to me or have any doubts queries or whatever okay uh, so whatever your queries are and if it is feasible for me to answer definitely i will answer okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day